Hello everybody. I have a couple little, little combined hauls. Um, but I shouldn't have done it because, yeah, I'm in trouble. Anyway, guess what? I went to the Goodwill Pound store. Hi, Brandy. <laughs> it's in Reading, Pennsylvania, so it's like an hour from me, but my friend Sue lives closer to it, so Saturday afternoon uh, we headed up there. Saturday might not be the best day to go because they had zero shopping carts, but I found a um, first I found a tote that was broken, but it worked for putting stuff in. And then I found like a shopping bag thing. Yeah. So some of it is not crafty. And I estimate that out of the, I only spent $7 and 40 cents. And one of the things in that pound was a game that I thought I could play with my grandchildren. And I think that weighed the most. So I'm only counting, and there was some other household stuff. I'm only counting a third of it which is the dollar 97 as craft stuff plus a book which actually is a photo album one out of two the other one's for Haley which was 50 cents so two dollars and 40 cents is what I'm counting as craft because I don't know how to I don't have a scale to estimate it. so anyway the first crafty thing I got was this it's a it's actually a flower container but I thought I could either hold um other kinds of flowers or something oops, can't even get it open now <laughs> side dab. I see it snaps closed. It needs to be washed. There were a bunch of these loose corks um, laying in the thing. Mirasu. Anyway, um, yeah, I need to clean it and clean them. I only found, they look like they were used actually, but that's okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I found eight. Um, obviously this needs to be cleaned. They had it at 97 cents, but it was in the household pound stuff and it, it closes tight. So I'm counting that as a crafty item. I'll probably use it up here somewhere. This is the game I bought. I never heard of it before. It's called name. Can you name five ages 12 and above? Um, so, and it looked like all the pieces were there because it has dice and cards and a, and a board and the instructions. So, yeah, I, I don't know. The cards look like this. Can you name five? And I guess depending on what color you land on or something like American Idol contestants. Ooh, I'd be in trouble. Biggest U.S. states. Members of Our Gang, a.k.a. The Little Rascals, songs by ABBA and Seedless Fruits. So anyway, sort of like Trivial Pursuit, but not quite. So, yeah, I thought I could try that. Maybe with my oldest granddaughter, the youngest, wouldn't be able to. I got three. No, these are 2017 calendars. They were apparently at Target for a dollar or somewhere. It looks like a tar the way Target prices them. Actually, one of them, I think they're all 2017, but I got them for the picture. So I got Dory, I got Mickey and Friends, and this says 16 months, and I got Frozen, um, also says 16 months. So I don't know if it started in December, um, hmm, or if it started in January. Let's see, does it say? I don't know. I'm guessing it started in mid-2016 and went through all of 2017. It doesn't matter if 2017 is over, but I thought I could use the pictures for pocket letters or something, some kind of thing. So I got those. I got these because I thought I could use my, um, it's called Quick It. Why scrap it when you can quick it? So I guess it's like pocket layouts you can do. Um, so I don't do scrapbooking, but you know, I can use the individual pockets maybe and use my, um, fuse tool and seal them up. So there were, it looks, it really looks pretty new. Um, so anyway, I got those. I got this little book from my granddaughter Haley, the youngest one. It was only a dollar, dollar general, so I got it for 50 cents, so half off. That was not part of the pound, nor was this, and I just couldn't resist this. It's actually um, 
album pages free from acids blah, blah blah so it's a like a four by six photo album thing i don't plan to use it for a photo album but look at that kitty in the cup oh my goodness so cute yeah i couldn't resist it it doesn't have it's a keith kimberlin uh, 2004 so it's kind of old somebody had it in their home anyway that is a crafty thing this is not the game is not um, I got this is not this is for some kind of mop but I thought maybe I could fit it on mine it's not the same brand so we'll see but I might be able to use it for dusting even if not and I got some scouring pads which I like these to clean my um they were only a dollar somewhere but they were in this pound and they're light um I like to use them for my non my uh, flat top stove yeah what can I say I got a another pack of page protectors protect your memories and let's see these are four by five so they weigh light so out of the pound, I have three calendars, these things and these things so far, and this pink pencil pouch, which actually that might not go in crafty items either, um, because I need something for my, um, I have a portable phone charger thing, and, I, and right now I just have it in a baggie, and I found some scrapbook paper, guys, look at this popcorn and ice cream treats and cotton candy. I got two of them. These were all just tossed in with all the other stuff. This floral one, which I thought was pretty. It's a little thinner. This polka dot one, which would be pretty for birthdays or something. Got a little tear in it, but it's okay. And this one, which I have seen before. I might even have this somewhere. Um, but it's lavender. So pretty. So I got those. They're the only ones I saw that there were a couple other ones, I think, but they were either ripped up really bad or whatever. And then the bag I found, look, um, it's from New Jersey, Rapunzel's in North Wildwood, New Jersey. But see, it's got bicycles and a bicycle. Now, who might like that? I don't know. <laughs> Brandy. So, anyway, that is my... Goodwill Hall. That is it. I really didn't find too much. And the household area where they have furniture and stuff, not too much. So this is it, guys. This is my crafty haul. Actually, I think I'm not going to put this in crafty. Um, so, yeah. Now, these are actually like the heaviest thing in here is these. And maybe this was not weighed with the stuff. So, yeah, I'm thinking, eh, I think a third of it is right because the game weighs pretty heavy. And this wasn't part of the weight part. So, yep, I'm counting it as a third of the total. Okay. So, right across the street, there was this flea market, which actually was um, a bunch of different people, different vendors with rooms or spots um and the rent guys was four hundred dollars i was thinking oh that would be a cool idea for crafty people to have an indoor set up your booth not for four hundred dollars a month i whew, wow and that was in a strip mall so yeah forget that no and you know what i didn't buy a single thing because the prices were all high they had to be to but they're not going to sell any much not going to sell much Okay, but right next door was a Dollar General. So, I've been seeing Ms. Brandy, Canvas Craze Creations, hauling, ooh, sorry, um, 10 cent Christmas stuff. So I thought, well, let's just go in and look and we'll see what we might find. And they didn't have any, not a single thing in Christmas stuff. So I only got three things there and only two were from my crafty stuff. The first one was a writing tablet for my mother. She wanted a plain white writing tablet. And then, so I didn't count that. So a dollar six because we have 6% tax. And then these were on sale. Let's see. Um, the This one with the 
like a leopard print or cheetah print with little hearts on it. That was a dollar eight. No. Hmm. That was two dollars for 5.9 yards. So I didn't think that was too bad. It says tape money. That's funny. And then the foil one is five yards. And it has feathers and like that. And that was a dollar eighty, which I thought it would have been the other way around. But anyway, plus tax. So the crafty stuff, these total with tax was four oh three. Because uh, I just actually threw out the roll. I know I should save them, but I have too much stuff saved now to work on and no time to do it. Um, I mean, I put it in the recycle. So anyway. And you know what? You never get the amount of yardage on here because the last bit on the roll, you can't count that because it's stuck onto the roll and you can't get it off. So, you know, that's a whole circle wasted. I found that out today. Um, yeah, but I don't think I've finished one before. So that was Dollar General. And then on the way home, I stopped in a different Dollar Tree because I had gone in another one and I was looking for those Hampton art stamps. Uh-oh, I think I'm missing a bag. Anyway, I bought, huh, I bought some ribbon and stuff at one. I think I'm missing something. I have to go out in my car and look around. But anyway, so the, the one I stopped at on the way home, um, again, I got some things for me. I got eyebrow pencils and emery boards, which the other Dollar Tree didn't even have these. They had a pack that had like two with uh, nail clippers. So I got those. Those are personal. So that's $2.12 personal. The rest is all crafty, but it's not much. I got some peachy pink pearls. And I liked them because they had those teeny weeny little ones. And I got some stickers. These beautiful stickers. I hope you're seeing these. And these beautiful stickers. And this doesn't go in here. I don't know where that came from. And, oh, my nail's in here, that's why. <laughs> and two of these envelopes. Um, so, oops, check that mail. Anyway, sorry for the bag rattling. Um, yeah, so that was crafty stuff. And that came to five dollars and thirty cents. One, two, three, four, five. A dollar for the, each of these envelopes. But I like these plastic ones when it's snowing or raining or whatever. So with all this, let me get these out of the way. Um, and I'm missing some things because I went to a different um, Dollar Tree Friday night too, and I got. Some, uh, probably about five I'm going to estimate to make this right um, okay so I've already done everything but that Friday night one I had 1411 cash left I didn't have my envelope with me though so um, I spent 247 at the Goodwill Pound store on crafty stuff I spent 403 a dollar general on crafty stuff including tax Spent five thirty on crafty stuff at the Dollar Tree on the way home. Um, so that left me with two dollars and thirty one cents. However, I ordered a peachy cheap item, and I already have the paper pad. It's by Pebbles Ink, Tea Lightful, but it's a kit, and it had. The puffy stickers and the ephemera and I don't remember what all but it, I probably paid too much because it was $9.99 the shipping is what kills you it's $5.19 so it came out to $15 oops I put $15.99 it's $15.18 um so yeah that put me in the hole and that came out of my personal checking account so I have to count it as cash so let's see, 231, 11 minus 8 is 3, 2 minus 1 is 1, 12 minus 5 is 7, no, oh, I have to do it the other way, oh, shoot, 
Wait, I have to do it the other way. Eight minus one is seven. One minus three is eight. Four minus two is two. It's twelve eighty-seven in the hole. Also, I ordered a couple things from Carla's Crafty Corner, I think it is, D Stash. I am estimating ten dollars. I think she she had the shipping up pretty high and she emailed me and said she's gonna refund it when she mails it today. But I don't, so the items only cost three something, but um, she had eight dollars in shipping on there, so that's gonna come down. So I'm thinking it's gonna be probably about um, seven total, maybe. So now I'm basically just say 20 in the hole, and um, I have that other Dollar Tree, which I think, um, I think it was. Six, I'm gonna say 636. Is that right? No, I think it was 742. I think it was seven dollars of ribbons, Easter ribbons, and stuff. So, I'm about 27 dollars in the hole, roughly. And I'll, I'll verify all that once I find the other Dollar Tree bag um, and get the actual total from Carla's Crafty Corner. So yeah, guys, I blew it. I didn't blow it, blow it by a whole lot, but I blew it by enough that it took up basically all my budget because I didn't have my Dollar Tree gift card with me. If I had, at least one of those Dollar Trees would be off of here. Um, and the Target gift card, I can't count towards that. So yeah, um, I really don't have anything left to spend for February, so February is going to be a no spend, and I'm so, I'm really trying so hard to stay away from Hobby Lobby from Tuesday morning because people hauled house mouse stamps, which I really, 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 really want, but I can't buy them right now, and, um, and uh, Hobby Lobby, I'm just, I know there's a lot of Tim Holtz, 75% off and all, and that's great. I just am not going to go spend the money. I have so many things here I have not used yet. And that's my, I have to keep telling myself that. I have so much paper, there's no room for any more. I have so many um, metal dies that I haven't even touched yet that I want to play with. I have my Spectrum Noir Rainbow of Markers, which is nearly a complete set of the original markers. Plus I have some aqua ones. Um, plus I have gelatos, which I'm just learning how to use. And I have tons of washi tape. You know, I just, I really don't need anything else. And I, I just have to keep telling myself that, especially when I see the 75% haul you know off hauls and things so I'm trying hard to be good and you know I went to the pound and I went to the Dollar Tree and did I really need all those things probably not but for mm, at that pound you know four dollars for page protectors papers and a photo album thing which maybe I can alter and do something with I don't know I don't know enough about it yet um, and I got this, I mean, these I'll use, uh, everything I'll use, the envelopes, especially from Dollar Tree, the stickers I could have probably done without, and the bling I probably could have done without right now, but, um, anyway, that's it, I'm rambling on, so, um, I'm still doing hashtag chilling in 2018, I think the collab sort of fell apart, it looks like Christine Harris is hanging in there with it and doing very well, probably better than the two collab members. Michelle, I've seen some hauls lately that, yeah, no, that, um, and she did tell me, she said, I like to buy, you know, D-stashes from other people. Well, I like to too, but I cannot let myself do that right now. So I'm sorry, guys. Um, I did get, like I said, a, a handful of things from Carlos Crafty Corner, which were three something total plus shipping um and that's the other thing i'm gonna really have to watch the shipping pg cheap i'm trying to really you know say Ugh, do i really need that do i really 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 love it um it just happened that this tea lightful i have already i just used it in my planner last week um i really do love it 
and it has all, it, oh, it has word stickers, puffy flowery stickers, you know, it just, a really pretty set. So I couldn't pass that up. And that's not something I see in Michael's and Joanne's and stuff anyway. So, all right, guys, I'll, um, January page is about done. I'm getting ready to carry over to February. Um, since February starts in like three days, yikes. <laughs> and my daughter's birthday is on the second. I have, um, behind and getting some birthday things out for people, which is upsetting me, but I can only do so much. So anyway, all right, guys, I will talk to you soon. Have a wonderful day. Hugs, love, and peace. And uh, stay warm or stay dry or whatever. All right, guys. Hugs and love. Bye.